First train of the day, about 5.20 a.m. There's one coming this way, one coming that way. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah. I dare starting to recognize me now. I do. There's some engineers who don't like rail fans that don't honk. But he's honking. Where's the radio at, Sarah? Yep. Hmm. Green on the right, right on the left. Alright, train two, look at that, right off the bat. Oh yeah. Here comes train two. And there's the other one going around the bend. See this red light down there. Oh dude, oh dude, there's another westbound. We have another westbound coming over behind me right now. I just heard another horn behind me. Hell hell yeah. Oh, we got double green iron, nice. Oh yeah, let's get a front here. Don't don't take a picture. Uh, 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 we have some defects here. Con repeat. Yeah, we have some defects here. Total axles three. Con repeat. What now? What now? Yeah, we have a defect. With three axles involved. Come on, repeat. When they can. He should have done it by now. Oh, I do love when the Yawk River Valley comes to life, the sound of a train. I'll be going straight to Brownstown Road and down Norfolk Southern in a minute. I damn pretty much the same distance between both these lines. Right, here he comes. Camera's good. Oh, I do love that noise. So, you good? So. So, yep. Down here at Barner Hill Road again. What? Norfolk Southern Milepost 33.4. As I'm sitting here eating my Jack Links for breakfast. Well, I already saw Capital Limited a little bit ago. I saw the Capital Limited about an hour ago. Right, so let's have a little safety here discussion. So, right, yesterday you saw those containers flying under the bridge 100 miles an hour. And then I see the 11 foot 8 bridge cam and I realized that if that container would impact this bridge, Let's say if that train derailed down there, and that container impacted this bridge about 8 inches above this, 
Uh, I tell you, it would hit you so fast. I may have cut you in half. I mean, do you see that? What that will do? I mean, go uh, look at the can opener bridge. And you see what that shit does when it hits stuff like this. I mean, I tell you what, if you're standing here and that train's going by 90 miles an hour like that, I mean, you see how fast those things fly by. I tell you, that derails and gets a little airborne and it, it contacts us and it's about 8 inches above that. I mean, it would cut you in half so fast you would have no idea what happened. I mean, that stuff is coming at you like a baseball pitch. I mean, you would never see it coming. And then, there's a one other video where I filmed the Amtrak, like, four feet from the tracks, down there on the other road on Railroad Street. And then I see one of these steel trains. The coil came unwound, and it's hanging, like, 15 feet off the side of the tracks. Uh, and it's hanging there like a razor blade, going along 90 miles an hour, hitting trees and stuff. The coil steel came unwound. And I tell you what, if that came by and hit you, you'd be dead instantly. And you'd have no idea what happened. It would come by and decapitate you. I mean, that would be exactly why you never, ever, ever walk on tracks. I mean, I mean, oh, I, I, here, here's the picture of what I'm talking about right here. I mean, do you see that? I tell you, I have friends that are engineers down here. They said, I mean, I have a friend that's been an engineer for like five years. He's already killed three pedestrians and hit two cars in five years. I mean, some of them have hit like 40 or 50 cars and people in their career. He said, you just close your eyes, cover yours, and just try not to feel it or hear it. I mean, could you imagine what that would be like? I think we have a train coming right now. I hear something. I'll tell you, you hear that in the distance? You can't tell if it's a car on that road or that. And really, people, that stop sign does not mean pull halfway in the intersection and stop there because you're about to be T-boned in the driver's door. That stop sign means stop there, not blow it off and go halfway in the intersection so somebody else nails you. I mean, I'll tell you, and slow down out there, people. Jeez. I mean, people go 190 miles an hour. Let's see if this car stops. I mean, well, yes, there's a car coming. But I tell you, if there's no cars coming, they pull right out of there without even looking. I don't know how they don't do, how they do that knocking nail. Look at the spring coming on the hillside down there, jeez. He stopped. <coughs> Gotta clean my throat. Now I tell you what, this purple crop over here growing, these flowers, make me gag. I tell you, I'm, I'm allergic to that pollen from that. I did that that dust dust mold and pollen just make me sick. I gag. I think COVID-19, because I have been coughing like that for 30 years, every time I read their crop in. Uh, ragweed will kill me, too. I tell you, ragweed, I'm choking like I swallowed something whole. I mean, it's so bad. I tell you, if you want to tell the grade of these road trucks, look at the hillside there. See how it goes like straight, with the trucks are angled? That's how steep that is. So basically, the train coat comes down there flying. And then you just like coast up the hill, and then the momentum carries up the hill quite a lot. I mean, you can see the benefits there. Yeah, that's not something coming. Alright, there's a quick lecture there for you. Now we'll come back with a little more in a few minutes. Alright, first train at Barnum Hill Road is uh, Norfolk Southern Freight Train. Please be someone I know on the train to hawk me. You never know what you're going to get. It's a box of chocolates. I collect plastic chairs and plastic chair accessories. Hank Hill. Here it comes. Now, Forrest Gump may have had, had a shrimp and boat, but I got a power line in truck. You ever heard of power line in? <laughs> yeah, really. Large pour the dang hills on. If he's on that train, he's gonna honk like crazy. I still need to find out who took a picture of me on the Amtrak yesterday. Somebody snapped a picture of me on the Amtrak yesterday. Uh, actually, no, maybe it was Monday. He has Monday. Yeah, that's heavy. That's running hard. Yeah, we got something massively heavy coming this way. It's on. 
Oh, we had steel belts yesterday. We had holy EMDs and steel yesterday. So dude, this is. He's definitely slowing down. Just remember, you can hear him all the way to turn back bridge from here. I mean... <laughs> I love how that valley just comes alive. I tell you, look at the size of that rock down there. That's scary. See that shit falling on the hillside down there? Jeez. I tell you, you would not want to hit that. I tell you, that rail is meant to take a vertical load. I tell you, you hit that from the side, it'll roll, it'll roll right over. I mean, it's, it, that's. <laughs> I mean, you'd be, you'd be shocked how easily it'd do that. I mean. Alright, here he comes. I'm telling you, watch how fast he's going, you see how long I have heard it. If he's going like 60 miles an hour, he's going to be like 3 miles away. Which is where the turnpike bridge is. Right here, there's a shadow. There's his headlights. It's a point to picture, ain't nothing to say. We have... 1, 2, 3, 4 engines. Same one. So... See how distributed power works. I tell you, that shit up front is probably like 10 times heavier than this crap out here. Uh, I think this is what 10G or something is what this train is. Got tankers coming in. Look at the size of them tankers. I mean, jeez. He's in a braking. He's in a brake for some reason. Stopping. I'm not sure why. Look at a mountain of shit coming here in a second. Oh yeah. Look at a mountain of shit coming here in a second. Ugh. 
Oh, that's gonna stink up the air in a second, bad. Well, there's a whole bunch of crap coming. Hopefully I don't see any water Sorry, don't swear. Don't swear, Brian, ain't nice. Oh, that's a mess. All that stuff's destroyed. All that stuff crushed and destroyed. That's frustrating. I didn't come to, up down here. Man, that shit stinks. Oh, that shit stinks bad. All those item centers. I'm really nice. He did not. There he is. Okay, there's Sam. Miles train still coming. There's still a mild train coming. Alright, we got another DPU coming from me. The accident's coming behind me. So we got a tree on the front, two inches in the middle. See, I hear an engine behind me. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is entertainment and a half right here. Oh, uh, so let me get this straight. We made YouTube successful by having hobbies that nobody does anymore except us, a few people. And we go on YouTube and everybody watches that and says how they miss doing their hobbies and how their life's been ruined by electronics and how music sucks. I mean, is that about the gist of it there? I mean, geez. I tell you, you get creative and go on YouTube, uh, you can make stuff like this a job. Which is exactly what I'm doing. I mean, getting ambitious like I am with the model train in the backyard and tunnels and everything there, you can actually ride on. Got some high and wide box. Alright, there's the end. Actually, there's no engines. Just sounded like it. Oh, we're almost up to 10 minutes here. Yeah, I think this is a 10G. 36 inch wheels. Yeah, he is stopping. While well, Amtrak's approaching, he's a light Amtrak by. And, oh, look at, cry look at that cryo trans cars. Hell yeah. And picture that thing. Look at that skull in there. Sweet. Uh, he is stopped. Oh, oh, look at this cryo trans right here. Hell yeah. And Tenji is stopped. Let's see, what's the height on that thing? 17 feet high. Uh, that's huge. 68 feet long, 17 feet high. Oh yeah, that's as big as your house. Oh yeah, he stopped. Nice. Oh, you know how long I've been wanting to see these cars up close? And Tenji is stopped. How dead sound that is. Hold on a second. I'm, uh, hold on a second. I'm a little close that is. See how far the tracks are down there. It's like right there. 39G. 39G. Okay, it's 39G. Not 10G. It's 39. Stop 39G. Is it okay if I have good signal? I try. Yeah, go ahead. Here he goes. Take a rest of my trap. Where exactly did you stop at? Over. And it's a 335. Over. 335. Alright, 335. Thank you. I'll let you know when I'm ready for you. Over. Okay, and just to let you know we're good downtown. Alright, good downtown. Thank you. I tell you what, man, this stuff gets better every dang day. Oh, train coming right there. Uh, who's that? Same truck? Nope, that's not folks I learned. That's it. Good. Ah, uh, because the camera's in my god dang hand.
We have a meet. Two, four, five. Here we go. Oh, we got some red. It's a red engine. What's that red engine? We have a red engine coming this way. Oh, is that the is that the red and silver? Is that the red and silver? Hey, I think we got the red and silver coming. Let's see. Let's see. Nah, it's not it. It's the containers in the background. It doesn't look like it in the sun. All right, here comes. Yeah, it's containers in the back. Oh, he is hauling ass, watch out. It's gonna come fast. He is coming fast. And that's the red container behind the engine I saw. Remember what I just said in the video about the containers? Yeah, something like that. Radio down. Same. Same radio. Right there. Take a while. Yeah, right here. So. Get ready for a massive power shot because he's running hard. Oh, yeah. Here comes. I'll tell you, this is good shit here, I'm telling you. Sorry, I swear, but I had to. Use it for more cars and it cuts the weight down. Basically, there's like no strength needed there and just cut it off like that. Yeah. You tell me how that there is aerodynamic. Hell no. Wow, I feel like a little shaky that goes under. Holy cow. Energy, go and stretch it. Well, I tell you what, you just hope that's the DPU's behind there. You hope that's the DPU's on the back of the train, man. I wasn't on their train. I tell you, you hear that as engines in the distance? Boy, you just hope that's the DPU's. Dang, you see a train around the bend. You run. I mean, I, don't, I mean, I go that way just to get the hell out of here. It's just me ugly. How scary that is. Do you see how scary that is if some if another train can run the button and hit that? I tell you, you may be able to not make it from that. I mean, geez. How scary that would be. Come here, see if there's anything for sure. Yeah, not much. Is there a refrigeration unit down there? Oh, look at this old soap pan again. Look at that. Hell yeah. Look at that. And no, that, no, no, that was there. So, come on. This is control unit there. I tell you this. There's a solar power unit right there. I right, zoom out. I'm like 35 millimeter. No, no. Where are you located? That is not something I want to hear. Ever. That is not something I ever want to hear. Where are you located? Oh, look at that. The brake handle and everything down there. Oh, that's nice. Man, you never get to see this. Oh, that is sweet. Yeah, that is freaking sweet. Look at right over the freaking couple. Of them. 
Stop. Okay, he's got a problem with this engine. Holy cow, is that clear? Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, man. <laughs> Brian, you got something going for it. I mean, jeez. Yeah, he's having a problem with his GPU engines. He's having a problem with his GPU locomotives. And when you have unmanned engines in the middle of the train, this is a problem you got to have. You're going to have. Plus, when it sets up an alarm or something, you somebody's gonna go back there and see it. And if it's a half mile back there, yeah. yeah he's got a problem with his DPU engine. Oh, Amtrak, 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 Amtrak. Ah, my, oh, wait, maybe third engine getting ready to move. Here comes Amtrak. Come on. Well, I'm just going to sit here until 39 she gets moving. Oh, yeah, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, that's sweet. Now sit down here and watch him go by. Here comes Amtrak. 04T, clear. Comes. He didn't call him radio, did he? Nope, he didn't. So. Now I'm gonna do it. So it's blocking the uh, blue engine. Boy, I tell you what, I hope the hell it's not a train coming up behind me. Here he comes. He's on a nice clear back of the train. Go ahead and stretch the 39G. He asked me to pass the salt and pepper, and I said, and he, I asked him to pass the salt and pepper, and he said, Roger that 10 4. Alright, here he goes. He's getting ready to move. Monitor energy, let's go. Oh, yeah. There you go, that's more like it. Here goes the end. Oh, I love that sound. Better than fireworks on the 4th of July, I tell ya. 64K. Two shit. So. There he goes. Have a safe trip to Conway and beyond.